Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at covered call, which is part of option strategies. This topic is covered on the CPA BEC exam, the CFA exam, and an essential or principles of investment course. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,800 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as well as Excel tutorials. If you like my lectures, please like them and share them. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. And don't forget to check out my website, farhatlectures.com, for additional supplemental resources for this course. So let's talk about a call. If you have a call, it means you have the right to buy the stock at a certain price. What we are doing here is we are writing a covered call. It means we own the stock, we own the stock, we don't need to buy it, we own it. And what we're looking to do is to make, the, the goal is to make some extra income, to sell this call and make some extra income. So how this whole thing work? Let's assume you own a stock and you paid for that stock. Uh, your stock price for you is $50. What you do is this, you would write a, a covered call. It means you sell a call with a strike price of 55 what does that mean and let's make it for 60 for 60 days it mean it means in the next 60 days you are willing to sell this stock for 55 dollars now what you do is you also get a premium when you sell this contract well somebody's gonna pay you because you're giving them the right you're giving them the right to buy your stock at a certain price therefore let's assume the premium equal to two dollars so you receive two dollars today you tell them look between now and the next 60 days i'm willing to sell you my stock price for 55. now the other party they're hoping that the stock price goes above 55. It's specifically they're looking for the stock to go above 57 that's on their end this is where they make start to make profit from your side you're thinking the price is not going to go up above 55 so i'm going to keep this two dollars and i'm not going to hear anything from them and by getting $2, basically, think about it, by getting this $2 premium, what you did is, in a sense, you reduced your stock basis to 48. So now your basis, your stock price is really, let's not use the stock basis, it's a tax term. Well, y your basis, not stock. Yeah, you reduce your basis to 48. Basically, you paid 48. Your net cost is now $48. Okay. Now, so how do we kind of graph this information discovered call? So here's what's going to happen. We're going to have a vertical line. This is going to be the profit and loss line. And we're going to have a horizontal line for the stock price. And our stock price is $50. This is our stock price. This is, this is the profit and loss zero. This is the loss part. This is the profit. And here's what's going to happen. The line for your stock at $50 by itself is whatever, you, you know, it's it's a line with a slope of one. So if the stock price goes one, you make a dollar. If the stock price goes down a dollar, it goes down to 49, you lose a dollar. So it's a vertical line. So this is one, two, three, negative one, two, three pluses. So that's pretty straightforward. What happened now was this. You received $2. And by receiving this $2, you already have a profit of $2. And guess what? You can keep this profit basically. Well, let, well not let's talk about the profit first, but let's talk about the strike price before we talk about the profit. The strike price is 55. So at 55, what you do is you have to give up this stock. You most likely either have to give up the stock or your option would start to lose money. But let's assume you give up the stock. It doesn't matter. So here's what's going to happen. As long as the stock price is 55 or less, you will make two dollars okay you'll make two dollars why because no one's gonna come back and wants to buy your stock if it's at, at 55 or below why because they can buy it at at why would they exercise buy it at 55 if they can buy it at lower so this is your profit up until 55 after after 55 your profit will start to go down and simply put at 57 because the the buyer of the uh, the buyer of the call now it's it's worth it for them to either exercise or you know basically you you lose money because now they can exercise it buy it at 55 and their you know their cost is basically 55 plus 2 is 57 you will start to 
lose money. So what is your max profit if the stock, if the ex, if the option is exercised against you? It means the other person exercised the option. Well, guess what? They're going to exercise at 55 or above. What's going to happen as a result is you made $5 profit on the stock price itself plus you made $2 in premium, so that says your max profit. That says your max profit, because after that, what's gonna happen is, if you make profit on the stock price, your option goes down. So they kind of, they kind of cancel each other. So this is your max profit. What is your max loss? What could happen to the stock? What could happen to the stock that you have? Well, what could happen to the stock? It could go down to zero. And what is your loss in case your stock went down to zero? Well, I purchased it at 50, that's how much I paid for it, but I get $2 extra. So really my net cost is 48. If the stocks goes down to zero, my my loss, my loss, max loss on this position is 48. So basically the, the premium kind of, the premium reduced your loss by, your maximum loss by $2. I'm just asking for the maximum loss, maximum, uh, maximum gain. What is your break even? When do you break even? Your break even, base simply put, is 48 so your break even is right here why your break even is 48 it's because you you paid 50 that's how much you paid initially then you received like a two dollar refund from the premium you got a two dollar refund therefore your cost now is 48 so you break even at 48 and and your max loss and the break even should be the same should be the same so this is the break even so simply put we, ha we could have another line here you break even at 48 and your gain will cap right right here okay so this is basically a covered uh, a covered call what it does this two extra dollars here it gave you extra cushion extra cushion what do you want to happen what, what you want is <laughs> you want this you want the stock price to go up like all the way almost to 55 and stop that's your best way why because if that's the case they're not going to exercise the option against you. you'll keep the two dollar and your stock price will have unrealized gain so you want the stock price to stay in this you want the stock price to stay in this area here why the exercise price is not uh, the the option is not exercised against you so that's good that's good so what you did is you reduced your cost if that happens and the exercise is not the option is not exercised against you so this is basically the covered call in the prior session we looked at the uh, at the protective put and basically you make, you make sure you, un you understand both because in the next session we're going to combine those strategies as always i'm going to remind you if you want to visit my website forhatlectures.com for additional resources for this course as well as your finance and accounting courses I like the recording, stay safe and study hard.